Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at two very similar products from two different brands. On the one hand I have a $2 texture powder by Batiste and on the other hand I have a texture powder which falls within the region of $20 when you round it up by Mr. Pompadour. We're going to be assessing these products based off of three elements which every successful texture powder should be able to achieve. The first and most obvious element is it must be able to provide texture, it must be able to provide volume, and last but certainly not least, it needs to feel lightweight when applied into your hair. Throughout the video, we are also going to be mentioning the packaging because there are a few points there worth addressing. And most importantly is the significant price difference between the two. And by the end of the video, we're going to come to a conclusion as to whether the more expensive product is worth the investment. Just quickly before we actually get into this video, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe. And as always, if you do enjoy or do find this video helpful, then a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Let's start by taking a look on the cheaper side of the spectrum. The texture powder by Batiste actually comes in a five grams container. This is significant and definitely worth mentioning because despite being the cheaper one of the two, you're actually getting more for your buck. The Mr. Pompadour's texture powder only comes in a three grams container. So despite being nearly 10 times the price, you're getting quite a lot less. When actually applying the product, the Batiste packaging does it far better than the Mr. Pompadour packaging in my opinion. There's several holes located at the sort of nozzle so it's super easy to get out of the container itself and apply it evenly among your hair. The Mr. Pompadour packaging only has one singular hole so it can actually take quite a while. I mean it's not that significant but it is worth mentioning. In regards to texture, the Batiste powder goes as far as you pretty much want it to. If you want a lot more texture, then obviously apply a lot more. And if you want less, then apply less. For me, I feel like the Batiste powder really does smash it when it comes to texture. In regards to volume, I feel like Batiste does a very good job here as well. It manages to pull off a natural looking lift. Nothing too major that you might be able to achieve with a blow dryer like you're seeing today. Among the texture, the hair sort of begins to layer and by doing so, it provides a little bit of volume. Now in regards to how lightweight it feels, this is where I film Batiste sort of begins to decline a little. It's able to achieve texture and volume absolutely perfectly. However, when actually applied into your hair, you can sort of feel it become quite clumpy and quite dry. It is worth mentioning when I was testing these products, I was literally applying them into dry hair. So it was just to test the powder itself in its purest form. When you do your normal sort of styling process, the texture powder will be the last thing you apply into your hair. So in other words, you're less likely to feel it in your hair when you're styling your hair sort of on your day-to-day -day routine. For me, obviously it was going to be a lot more easier to tell that it was in my hair because it was literally the only thing in my hair. So now let's take a look at Mr. Pompadour's texture powder, which is safe to say it's more on the premium side of pricing. In regards to texture, I feel like it was able to do just as good of a job as the Batiste styling powder. If I'm being really, really picky, then I might even say the Batiste did a better job, but that was simply because of the application process. It takes longer to actually get the product out of the bottle in the uh, Mr. Pompadour packaging. So what can end up actually happening is you over concentrate some parts of your hair while not focusing on other parts of your hair whatsoever. Now that brings me on to my next point. You do get those layers of hair which I was talking about with the Batiste product. However, I feel like, again, maybe not as well because of the application process. Because I was able to evenly distribute the Batiste product around my hair, it was able to evenly create these layers which in result generated volume. That was still the case with Mr. Pompadour, but I just don't feel like it was as successful in achieving that. And going back to how lightweight the product felt, Mr. Pompadour felt a lot less heavier. Arguably, I used a lot less product because I had to use the product more sparingly because there was less to actually uh, use. And the application process made it time consuming to actually get as much as I would have liked. So the reason why it may not have felt as heavy as Batiste is simply because I was using less product. So now let's actually come to a conclusion. I'm gonna be super straight up, I'm just gonna put it out there. From my personal experience after testing both of these products, the Batiste $2 texture powder was superior to Mr. Pompadour's $20. I feel like this is super, super important to address because normally we're sort of conditioned to believe that expensive means better. I'm sure many of you watching this video at home will be able to tell me the difference between a $2 clay and a $20 clay. That's because there is a huge difference between the two when you look at ingredients, when you look at um, the application process, the hold, the finish. 
There's so much that goes into that. The reason why I was so intrigued to make this video is because I was looking at two different powders and, and I was really curious as to how they could possibly vary. To put it sort of plain and simply, they are just as good as each other, but you're getting a much better deal by going down the cheaper route. Again, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content. Leave a like if you did enjoy it, it helps me out a ton. And leave any video suggestions you have in the comment section down below. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. And until then, I will see you all in the next video. Take care guys, bye bye.